Let's talk about the image of the child. We're beginning here because it helps us set the tone for this dialogue we'll engage in. The image of the child is the foundation where our thoughts, words, and actions build their basis off of. And for early childhood educators, this is very important as it informs our personal practice as advocates, participants, and facilitators in the lives of children. Now, you may not be aware of it, but you have an image of the child as well. And this can be seen through your interactions with them. If you were to take a moment to reflect on those interactions, regardless of how brief they may be, what could you say about your image of the child? We don't really think about it too much, but the image of the child really influences our interactions with them. For example, what if a child was running in the library or crying while you're eating at a restaurant? And how about your own children throwing a tantrum just as you're trying to get out the door? What are some of the thoughts that run through our heads as we think about these moments? In reflecting on the image of the child, it not only sets the tone, but it also acts as a catalyst for our interactions moving forward. If our image of the child is one that views them as competent rather than not, then our interactions that would have been confined within our beliefs of what children can and should be becomes richly nourished by children showing us who they really are. Now, I could go on all day talking about the image of the child, but in order for this dialogue to take place, we need time to think. So, in continuing this process of reflection, here are some questions for us to think about. And if you're willing, share some of your thoughts, and let's see where this takes us.